Welcome to Classroom Idaho, Learn at Home, a partnership of the Idaho State Board of Education, the Idaho Office for Refugees and English Language Center, Projects of Janus, and Idaho Public Television. Everyone wants kids to be ready to take on the real world, right? So what's the secret? Say hello to CTE. CTE is career technical education. Maybe you've never heard of it, but CTE gives learners an academic foundation along with technical skills and hands-on experience in a whole bunch of different areas to help them get ready for the real world. Think of CTE as a high school experience, but with even more value because it fills a big gap for a lot of students. In fact, CTE learners and their parents are three times as likely to say they're very satisfied with the ability to learn real-world skills as part of their education as compared to non-CTE learners and their parents. And since over 75% of CTE learners enroll in post-secondary education after high school, CTE is definitely creating a path to college and career success. And get this, they have a graduation rate over 10% higher than non-CTE students. Did you know 89% of parents think students should receive more education about career choices while in high school? That's where CTE comes in. Think about it. Is it better to experiment with career choices when you're paying money to do so in college? Or should it happen in high school so students know a lot earlier whether a career option is the right fit? The answer is fairly obvious, don't you think? Now let's talk about why CTE is good for business and industry. It's pretty simple. Companies want skilled employees, and they're having a hard time finding them, which can cost the company money in lost productivity. Enter CTE. Six of the 10 hardest to fill positions are in technical fields or require a CTE background. In fact, about half of all CTE learners are enrolled in programs in leading fields such as healthcare, STEM, and information technology, matching employer needs with student passions. CTE programs directly connect learners in high school and post-secondary with employers through internships, apprenticeships, and other meaningful on-the-job experiences. When it comes to CTE, more than twice as many CTE parents report being satisfied with internship opportunities. That means a lot of doors are being opened for kids. So here's the bottom line. Parents want their kids to find a career they can be passionate about. Kids want the same thing. And when you think about the real world, what could be better than having learners enter a field they know is right for them with a ton of hands-on experience? It's all possible thanks to CTE. CTE, learning that works for America. To learn more, visit careertech.org. I'm Jenny Bradford, Senior Program Quality Manager for Idaho Career and Technical Education. In 2018, the Idaho Legislature expanded Career and Technical Education, which started in the ninth grade, down to seventh and eighth grade. During the 2020-2021 school year, 10 middle schools across our state will pilot First Steps, understanding the world of work through CTE. First Steps is a CTE-focused course offering that helps students gain self-awareness, explore career interests, and begin to plan for their future. First Steps introduces 7th and 8th grade students to CTE options as they are transitioning to high school so they can make informed decisions. High school options include pathways in six different program areas. Agriculture, food and natural resources, business and marketing, engineering and technology education, family and consumer science and human services, health professions and public safety, and trades and industry. During the 2018-19 school year, course enrollments totaled over 95,000 in Idaho. High school and post-secondary CTE students also learn and practice leadership skills they learn through Career Technical Student Organizations, or CTSOs. Some of these include FFA, HOSA, DECA, TSA, and others. In the same school year, 18-19, over 15,000 high school students participated in CTSOs learning leadership skills and competing at the state and national level. Advanced Opportunities help students receive college credit for skills they gain in CTE. Those two programs include dual credit offerings for high school. Students have the opportunity to earn college credit at the same time they work toward graduation. The other option is technical competency credit. Here, college credit is awarded for demonstrated skills, and those skills are recorded through digital badging in Idaho Skillstack. 
A career in technical education gives young students the hands-on experience they need to explore the pathways to a high-demand career they can be passionate about. Through American Graduate Getting to Work, we had the opportunity to explore CASA, one of Idaho's 17 career and technical education centers. CASA stands for the Canyon Owyhee School Service Agency. Our current technical education programs are all based on industry. The program and the education they're going to get here is going to be competitive to what they're going to learn in a college setting, and it's going to set them that much farther ahead. Welding is by far our most popular program. There's a huge demand for welders right now. There's been people hired straight out of CASA or go to an internship half a semester from CASA and then get hired there after they graduate. Uh, I started attending the CASA Academy my junior year and that's where I kind of started getting my basics in the engines. Um, I'm now currently working through an internship at the Caldwell Airport and I'm making, you know, 14, 16 an hour in that range and I'm getting paid to learn. That's, that's the idea, right? That get, get a job, work your way through school. That way you don't have this massive debt that so many do. You give the kid a limit, you know, or an expectation and they'll rise to it. To explore your passions for a high demand career, consider a career in technical education and check out our Idaho Public Television American Graduate website to learn more. Idaho's career and technical schools are helping students chart their course for the future. At the Dennis Technical Education Center in Boise, we met a CUNA High School senior whose creative interests have set her on a course to explore auto body collision repair. My name is Samantha Spencer. I go to CUNA High School. I'm a senior. She is passionate and she, she wants to learn. She wants to learn about collision repair. I got into it because I like designing stuff. And so I thought about it and I was like, you know, painting cars would be super fun. Once we got her learning what cars are and how they come apart and how to repair things, and she's just taken right to it. Auto body's a stress reliever, you know? You get your stress out by painting or like working on cars, you know? If you are passionate about automotive, for example, or welding or whatever it may be, come out and explore. Take that class. You know, we don't have anything out here that is gender specific. We have something for everyone. To learn more, check out our Idaho Public Television American Graduate website. With 17 career and technical education schools throughout the state, Idaho is preparing its youth with the skills needed to fulfill the high demand careers of tomorrow. Through our American Graduate Getting to Work initiative, we had the opportunity to see how one student is learning skills that are setting her on a pathway to her future. I'm very passionate about welding. I started here, I took welding, small gas engines, masonry, and auto. These three classes I have no homework, nothing at all. The next day I just come in and then pick up where I left off. My name is Christina Barroso. I like rather to make things than to fix them. <laughs> Christina is, you know, in, in lots of ways fits right down to our center core of skill set and interest. She can get onto any new welding machine and any new process and develop a, an understanding and proficiency at that type of weld. I like to come out here into the lab. Yeah, I could spend all day in the classroom trying to learn one thing, but it'll take me forever to learn it. It's more easier for me to learn out of class, you know, hands-on. I think in general it's just a good idea for people to get skills because these CTE programs, they're skills that go lifelong. Auto can help me, like, if my car breaks down, I know what to do until I get to the next mechanic or something. And collision is just nice to know things, how to fix them. If your window doesn't roll down, then take out the inside and try to fix it. The industry needs new people. Kind of sets them up good with a good baseline of knowledge to either go to a shop, get a job right out of high school, or possibly progress on to a higher level class at one of the local colleges or out of state maybe even for an automotive program. And I like how we get to work in teams because then we get their side of how to do things and our side too so we can look at it from different point of views. If they don't explore here then they go explore after they leave high school and they could spend years or thousands of dollars finding out that maybe it is something they really don't want to do as a career. Auto and collision are probably going to be a hobby for me but welding, I'm trying to make that into a career and keep going forward with it. In today's environment, usually a shop handman will start out at like $10 an hour. But I do have students right now making $28 an hour just welding. 
on the weekends and after school. Almost two-thirds of our class go into either post-secondary education or they go into a, a welding career. When I'm attending CWI, I wanna, my goal is to get an associate's degree because I'm already going to be certified after high school. I wanted to get an associate's degree so I can be worth more to my employers. To explore the high demand skills of tomorrow, consider a career in technical education and check out our Idaho Public Television American Graduate website to learn more. We are here to train machinists, either in the manual trade or in the CNC side of the industry. A student learns to work with the materials, whether it's steel, plastic, aluminum, in the proper manner so that they can put out a good part at the end of the project. They go to the theory classes in the morning, blueprint reading, math, theory, and then they apply what they're learning in those classrooms out in the lab. Machining is a very high-tech industry. so. You need to be able to stay up on your computer skills. You need to know how to use CAD programs. And so there's a never ending growth cycle that's gonna go with, with machining. The type of hands-on training that I receive here has been pretty thorough. They go through everything from metrology to metallurgy and uh, manual machining, CNC machining. And there is definitely a, a method to, to why they do what they do. It's one skill built on top of another skill after another skill. And they just added that new Zeiss CMM for inspection purposes. Uh, that's something that's gonna be everywhere throughout the valley. The equipment out here that we are using is top of the line and you won't find many shops that are put together like this facility is. Thankfully at the shop I'm at, we use the same hoses that they do here and so that prepared me quite well for my job. I'm a farm boy and so I was always fabricating things, building things, very fascinated with metal. Came and saw the facility and I, was, I knew this is what I wanted to do. I would definitely recommend this program. They prepare their students very well and uh, have them ready for work in this industry. This program, in two short years, a person can have a career for the rest of their lives. You can pretty much make anything, and that's what I'm excited about.
The College of Southern Idaho offers a university experience at a community college size and price. With an average class size of 12 and a teacher to student ratio of 15 to one, CSI students can earn an associate degree or technical certificate in an environment built for learning. The College of Southern Idaho offers 134 degree options in every concentration. From agriculture to business, from welding to nursing, anything you've ever wanted to be can be achieved or started in one of our programs. Along with on-campus housing, student clubs, and outdoor recreation opportunities enrich the already outstanding student experience. With an annual tuition rate of $3,360, about half the price of a four-year university, and over $2 million awarded annually in scholarships, the College of Southern Idaho is an affordable option to earn a quality education along with lifelong skills and an unforgettable experience at one of our off-campus centers or right here at the main campus in Twin Falls. The College of Southern Idaho, because it all starts with you. Apprenticeship, there's more to it than an age old stigma from a bygone era. It's an opportunity to do real work while learning a trade. We've been doing apprenticeships in America since 1937. Uh, for some reason though, we felt college was the most important thing for people and so people went and got in debt, uh, still couldn't find a job, the skills were mismatched, those types of things. But the reality is, it's during their apprenticeship that that's when the real learning takes place. That's when we see students make huge progress in their understanding of things. They really help someone kind of learn the ropes, so to speak, and work their way up. Typically, in a, in, as an apprentice, you work under like a master of some sort. You know, so I worked under a master technician, and he um, gave me his experience and knowledge while working on vehicles. You know, and now we're a team. Uh, one of the most important things is the employer has the say in what that training looks like. Well, we originally when we hired uh, Paul, we put him on the lube rack to begin with. Uh, it didn't take very long for him to show that he was far more advanced and uh, we moved him directly into the shop. Instead of just being a technician on his own, he was a shop apprentice where he worked with uh, Troy since then, since day one. Apprenticeship here was when he'd get done with a semester or a period of time at school, he would come and spend two months you know, depending on the time in between, and it's strictly hands-on here at the dealership. And they have the opportunity to apply what they've learned, and they get to learn the expectations of that career. This way, with an apprenticeship, you're being trained on the exact thing that the employer needs. These apprentices that we're bringing in, um, they're our lifeblood, because uh, they have a good passion. Uh, once they get in with uh, Dennis Dillon, they stay with us. They. They work for us for three years in the summers, and uh, then they, they go on the line and produce for us. You almost have, if, you know, if the employer likes you, you almost have a guaranteed job outside of school. You know, basically it's an opportunity to earn why they learn. They don't uh, have a lot of debt that they've added to the bottom line. As an apprentice, he is um, paid an hourly wage, and um, he produces um, uh, for the dealership and does a good job. You don't necessarily need a four-year degree to participate in those jobs and you could come out and make forty to sixty thousand dollars. Really it is, it, it, it's an age-old, uh, you know, solution in a new era. To learn more about apprenticeships for your career or your business, check out our American Graduate website at IdahoPTV.org. My name is Isaac Ames, I'm in the Computer Aided Design and Drafting program and I am graduating from high school with my Technical Certificate in Architectural Drafting from ISU dual credit program has helped me because I'm more focused. It's like a jump ahead on your career. High school pays for all of your schooling throughout while you're in high school. So if I would have done it as a junior and as a senior, I could graduate from here with my associate's degree. That's a whole two years of college I don't have to pay for. My favorite part of the CAD program is just being here with everybody. Everybody's just so nice. You know, when you go into college, it seems a little bit more intimidating but it's really not. You know, your instructors are one-on-one -on -one with you. They're always here. There's always, you've got your classmates. And this is all in all, it's just a really fun class. Some of the hands-on projects I've really enjoyed was the residential. I love doing architectural and stuff like that. So it was really fun um, creating nothing, like just a basic 2D floor plan into a 3D building. When we finally finished our commercial building, we put it into an Enscape program, which is put into a virtual reality software and we get to walk through our buildings in virtual reality. 
it is so much fun. It's, I can't even, like, I don't have any words to explain how much fun it is. Everything we do is really hands-on. We are constantly doing experiments, building things, really working with our hands, and I really like that. It takes some serious focus, but it's not hard if you try. I mean, if you understand it, it's not hard, but you have to be willing to put forth the effort. In the technical industrial division, we have auto mechanics, collision repair, diesel uh, technology. Uh, we also have uh, the industrial electronics, program, the HVAC program, information technology program, uh, engineering technology program, CNC machining, welding, and then the industrial maintenance millwright program. I really enjoy the hometown feel. I mean, LCSC is a small school, but there is a wide range of things you can study, but it still feels like home here. You can live at home and you can go to school and you can work so you're not nearly as financially stretched. It's a lot of fun. I show up every day and I learn something new and I have a good time. A lot of other tech programs from across the state are maybe like a nine month long program. Almost all of our programs are two year programs, uh, meaning that this gives the student basically twice as much time to, to absorb. So the first year is all like just a lot of general stuff and then in the second year, I'm doing more of integrating kind of the base knowledge into what I would actually be doing as a technician. Our faculty, first off, they need to be a master journeyman. have had at least eight years of field experience. When they come into our programs to teach, they've got to be able to demonstrate and show you know, how to fix something because most of our students are that way, learners that want to be able to fix things with their hands. All of the teachers I've had are super willing to help out. They're super flexible. The resources are there if you need it at LCSC. The instructors are there if you need help. Just all you have to do is ask. And they'll take all the time that you need to help you understand. I mean, if it's after class or between classes or come early, come late, come in on Friday, they'll be there whenever you need. Class sizes are very small, which is really good. You get a lot of the attention you need. I went to a traditional four-year college for a little while and I feel like you get kind of lost in the shuffle of people where the class sizes are so huge, you just don't get the attention you need. Here in the technical program at LCSC, you get all the attention you need. You really can develop that one-on-one -on -one relationship with the instructors and you really get a feel for their teaching style and they get a feel for your learning style and it's really a benefit for both people. We don't get enough young ladies coming into our programs but the ones that do all excel. A lot of our ladies actually have a better uh, ability to, to see things that guys sometimes overlook when it comes to troubleshooting. And there's the sense of satisfaction when you've spent your day making something and you flip that switch and it works. It feels great. So when you get out of the military, it can be hard to find a job. North Idaho College has a lot of programs for guys like myself to get either certified or just educated in all sorts of fields. I've always been a bit of an inventor. I just have never been able to get the ideas out of my head and into something tangible. So with 
And I see teaching me AutoCAD and SolidWorks and 3D printing. I'm able to take an idea and produce an actual functional product. My name is Dominic Casilla, and my future is within reach. I have a degree from a four-year university, but it left me unfulfilled in terms of my career. North Idaho College has given me the chance to try something completely new with machining, and I've loved every second of it. NIC has prepared me for a career that I can be happy with and really love for a long time. My name is Megan Dubose, and my career in machining is within reach. Hi, I'm Molly Goloskini, the State Director for Adult Education at GED for the State of Idaho. Our programs provide instruction and support to adult learners as they work toward a GED, work on learning English as an additional language, and work toward advancing in their careers. We know that in the state of Idaho, there are 124,000 adults without high school diplomas and around 12,000 limited English-speaking households. We also know, according to Bureau of Labor Statistics data, that those without a high school diploma earn roughly $10,000 per year less than folks with a high school diploma. Over the course of a lifetime, this adds up to a lot of missed earnings. So our programs are really important in preparing students to achieve their GED and move on into family sustaining careers. A really good example of some of our work is our environmental services pre-apprenticeship program, which provides language instruction concurrently and contextually alongside job skills training to prepare individuals for environmental services careers. This career path leads to higher wage jobs in a healthcare system. Many of our students have gone on from environmental services jobs into our multicultural CNA program where students receive English instruction, again, concurrently and contextually as they continue to work up a career pathway. I really believe in our programs and I'm excited to have the opportunity to share them with you today as we work to continue to support adults as they work toward family sustainability. Idaho's healthcare professionals are on the front lines of a global pandemic, risking their lives for the health of their communities. With the threat of the novel coronavirus, COVID-19, the demand for their skills has never been greater. In terms of the raw number of jobs that are needed, registered nurses are always at the top of the list, and they're at the top of the list not just for health professions, for all jobs in the state. Idaho Public Television, through American Graduate Getting to Work, applauds these doctors and nurses who are using the strength of their education and training to defeat this lethal virus and make their community stronger. Predominantly, health professions just continue to grow. We're making a difference for the state, and it's very tangible. To explore an educational pathway toward a career that will keep your community strong, check out our Idaho Public Television American Graduate website and learn more. Welcome to Classroom Idaho, Learn at Home, a partnership of the Idaho State Board of Education, the Idaho Office for Refugees and English Language Center, Projects of Janus, and Idaho Public Television. You're watching Idaho Public Television's Create Channel.